Well, hey there, this is Anthony Metivier from MagneticMurrayMethod.com, and if you have ever thought that you have aphantasia, or aphantasia as it's sometimes pronounced, which is the inability to see images in your mind, and you've thought that this is a reason why you can't use memory techniques, let me tell you the truth about aphantasia and using memory techniques. Here's the thing. HD television is not what you need to see in your mind in order to make memory techniques work for you. This whole thing about visual imagery is a word that we need to use because we are talking about the visual character of things. We are talking about making them big and bright and weird and strange and dynamic in your mind. And we're talking about doing it with a lot of images, ideally figures that are somehow real in the world, right? So you have some reference to them. But here's the thing. If your mind is empty like this and you feel frustrated because you can't see in your mind, don't think for a second that you can't use memory techniques that are based on visual characteristics because I'm very low on the visual threshold. I've trained quite a bit in order to increase that, but even if I didn't have any visual capabilities at all, I can almost guarantee you 100% that I'd be even better at memory techniques because you do not have to see in HD television in your mind. It's simply not necessary because you can use cognitive processes that relate things to ideas, to words, to puns, to the linguistic characteristics of imagery. You don't need to see any kind of animal in your mind. You just need to think about what an animal might be doing and link that to a location in a memory palace. And one thing that you really would benefit from checking out is the magician Pendulette talking about, this is the big guy there on the left, talking about his experiences with Aphantasia. It's on his Sunday School podcast. You find the link down below and listen to what he has to say because I think it's a very, very strong demonstration of how that you can remember information without having the ability to see anything in your mind. Now, I don't know exactly what that feels like because I don't have it, but I do know what it's like to be quite murky in your mind, and I've had all kinds of cognitive deficits for many reasons throughout my life, and it's never stopped me from using memory techniques, and again, I'm very low on the visual threshold. I'm a much more auditory person. I use sound a lot to help me make my memory images, quote-unquote images. They're not really images. They're like ghostly figures. And I want you to listen to what he has to say. I'm not going to repeat it here because you need to hear what he has to say. And I think it'll convince you that it's very, very easy to have a good memory without being able to see images in your mind whatsoever. I also want to draw your attention to a person named Blake Ross who has done some incredible things in his career who by his own account, has this aphantasia effect of being blind in his mind. Now, he doesn't do magic tricks that require a high level of visual manipulation in order to even understand what it is that you're learning, right? There must at some level be a brain process in order to even learn the cups and balls, which took me quite a while to learn. I know how to do it. I know exactly how this trick is done. I do my own version that winds up with uh, an orange on the table because I do a single cup and ball. I don't use the three cups, I just do one, which in many ways makes it a little bit more complex because you have to be much more on the entertainment value uh, to to really draw people in. But in any case, it ends up with two eggs and a orange at the end, and I start with, I use olives in mine instead of uh, balls. In any case, the point being is that I know this trick very well, and I know magic very well, and I know that these people that have aphantasia, they, including Blake Ross, they do incredible things that involve all kinds of visual uh, ability. And so if you look at his uh, webpage here on Facebook, Blake Ross turns out like he's a founding, he's the founder of Firefox, okay? And he's the former director of product at Facebook. So maybe he doesn't use memory techniques, but there's obviously some visual ability going on at some level in this person's mind, this person's ability to actually conceive of projects and follow through and get stuff done. And so I want you to really, really deeply understand that visual HD television does not have to hinder you at all 
You do not have to feel like this when you're trying to use memory techniques. You just need to think about the techniques differently. And it's unfortunate, but we do, when we're teaching memory techniques, we do tend to talk about the visual, the visual, the visual, the image, the image, the image. But we don't really have any other words for that. And I apologize for that. But when I learned memory techniques, it never occurred to me ever once that I wasn't really creating HD television every time I closed my eyes. I wasn't doing anything of the sort. I was just thinking, okay, here's my memory palace, here's the corner of the room. Now there's, you know, well, in, in one very specific case, there's Bertolt Brecht. This is actually on an escalator in the Sony Center in Berlin. Bertolt Brecht, and he's being whipped by a zero with licorice, and the, the, he's holding a vase, right? This is to help me remember the German word serbrechlich. I don't see this in my mind as such. I just think of it being there. And there's like a little ghostly image, and I've massaged it a little bit, and I've thought about it. But, you know, I'll tell you, I've read many novels in my day. I have a BA in English literature, and I've read all kinds of novels, and I just do not see them visually, hardly at all, barely at all. If anything, I think more about it. And, you know, Stephen King, if you ever read On Writing, which I highly recommend that you read that book, he talks about how he doesn't really bother describing clothing or much about what the characters look like because people create their own images anyway. And what Stephen King may not know is that some people don't create images at all, which is probably the case with Blake Ross because he apparently doesn't have this ability, nor does Penn Jillette. So what is stopping these people from being some of the most creative people in the world. Pendulette is probably one of the most highest paid magicians in all of history. And all that he does is visual work at the end of the day to make things appear, disappear, and card tricks and so forth. And he's able, you know, if you've ever seen Fool Us, his show with, um, with Teller here, he it's just unbelievable the visual imagination that the guy has, even though apparently he can't see anything in his mind. Listen to that episode of his podcast. Sunday School might not be for you, but just listen, go to that part, and it's indicated in the link below. It's going to help you if you have aphantasia or aphantasia, or you feel that you can't see in your mind. It's going to help you understand exactly how. And he gives a tip there, and I'm not going to point it out because I want you to listen to it. But And he's not saying, hey, this is my tip for you. But if you listen very carefully, you're going to understand that what he does in order to make things memorable for him is exactly what I have done all along. It's what I teach in all my books, all my video courses, and it's exactly what works, and it'll work for you. So here's an idea. After you listen to that episode, after you stop worrying about HD television, and you stop getting this kind of feeling, choked up, and overthinking the whole mnemonic thing, after that, here's an idea that I really want you to pursue. Go to magneticmemorymethod.com forward slash masterclass. Read what I have to say here. I actually have deliberately made this page quite free from images. A lot of people have said to me, why don't you have a big fat image right here? Well, one of the reasons why is because I want people to focus on the words, on the message. And I do have an important message here for you. And so if you read it carefully, I'd love for you to consider actually taking some memory training from someone who is not particularly visual, who doesn't see HD television in his mind, but still knows how to create amazing effects like this that just pop so that when I need to memorize a word or a phrase or whatever the case may be, I can do it. And I don't have to worry about being depressed because I don't have this great visual talent. And I actually teach you all about everything that I have done in order to get more visual because I have improved in this area. Now, if you have aphantasia, maybe you'll never be visual at all, but I still cannot imagine a world in which someone can become the best magician in the world and one of the just the most creative minds that I've ever encountered. I can't imagine any situation in the world where you couldn't do the same if you just change how you think. Because as is often said by many people, when you change the way you think about things, the things you think about change. And that's exactly the same process for memory and how you think about your memory. Think about it differently, you'll be able to use it differently, and you will empower yourself in ways you can't even imagine. So check out magneticmerrymethod.com forward slash masterclass after you listen to this really interesting episode with Penn Jillette. And, you know, change your mind about this because there is no one on the planet who can't use memory techniques. I just will not accept it. 
And I've seen it time and time again that with the right training, anybody can do anything that they want with their memory. You've just got to match your passion with practice and it can go very, very fast if you just change your mind and get things going for yourself. So with that in mind, I'm going to turn off this HD TV video from uh, our little experience here. And I really appreciate you watching this video. And until we speak again, just get rid of this and always, always remember the power of ideas and that how you think about things is what makes all the difference in the world. And we'll see you over at magneticmemorymethod.com forward slash masterclass. Thanks for watching. And until we speak again, keep yourself magnetic.